Hello everyone, hope all of you are fine and great. So guys, today we'll be learning about how we need to prepare for Christ University entrance test and specific to the BA as well as for BBLLB program. Very important video. Why? Because in the part one video, I hope you have already watched this video. If not, please do go watch it first. I've dropped the link in the description box. How to ace the universe Christ University from BA as well as BBLLB. I've covered up how you can very easily clear for your English and GK part. I've provided up all the materials and all the stuff which and all you need to prepare. But in this part two video, we'll be discussing about how we need to exactly prepare for logical reasoning one and data analysis and interpretation. Remaining all the three have already covered up in the part one. So please do watch part one and only come back over here. Only then you'll understand. Or else it'll be a little more tough for you. And along with that, I'm also going to tell you a few chat GPT card tricks here and there. A uh, chat GPT means it's like an open AI platform. It's like an artificial intelligence. It's like a robot you're communicating with. How to use chat GPT and how you can use it for your preparation. That also I'm going to tell it over here. Okay. Very simple, very cool, very easy. So now starting with logical reasoning, what are the probable set of questionnaires they can ask you? One is regarding data analysis and interpretation. Number series, very important. Critical reasoning, little more important. Statement and assumptions and conclusion. Calendar based questions. Seating arrangements. Calendar and dates. Number series. Syllogism. Age related questions. And relationship based questions. So these are the 11 sets of questions which Christ University has a little more favoring of asking the questions. See one thing, whether you're applying or as well as preparing for different kind of entrance like for symbiosis and MIMS, irrespective, if there is a logical reasoning there too, it is the same pattern. So you prepare properly and when you're preparing, prepare in such a way that instead of doing 10 or 50 questions of data, blood relations, one question, at least if you're learning from blood relations, you know, it should be in such a level preparation that even though they ask you any questions, you should be able to answer. That's the reason I said very clearly in this particular portion, dedicate one hour each for every of these sections. One hour each, 45 minutes you can solve. Remaining 15 minutes, you need to literally spend time for analyzing how you are upscaling and how you are progressing. That is very important. And guys, I'm providing you free resources. I'll just drop the link in the description box. That is about, there is free YouTube channels which you can refer. This is nothing paid up aspect. It's still free YouTube channels. You can see this uh, Dear Sarka YouTube channel is one of the best ever YouTube channel in terms of blood relations, logical relations. So when I was also preparing, I too followed their own videos. It was the best. It was literally the best. Now you can do refer to that. Uh, second one is about same thing. Three uh, Dear Circa YouTube channels. I'll be dropping out all this in the description box so that it'll be a little more easy for your preparation. This is about a logical reasoning. Now let me take you towards my book and I'll tell you what is the logical reason based questions. Okay. So I hope you guys have already bought this book. If not, I'll be dropping out the link in the description box. I had basically written a book about interview preparation. And once you buy this book, you know, it's like throughout the Christ University LLB related interview, every important questions I've covered up for you. So once you buy the book, even uh, if you have watched the part one video, you'll understand what I'm telling you. I'll take you towards logical reasoning part. So you'll understand how the questions are basically been coming. What is the missing number in this following series? Which of the following symbols should replace the question mark? Uh, if pen is coded with this one, what is the answer? Which word does not belong in the following group? Apple, orange, banana, carrot, mango, so and so. If A is taller than B and B is taller than C, who is the tallest? Very simple. So these kind of list of questions I've provided. Please do even go with that. And along with that, you can go to chat GPT and ask, you know, uh, like I'm preparing, you know, what, how to use chat GPT? Just type chat.openai.com and then go over there and then ask, sir, I'm preparing for a uh, university interview like this. Logical reason, give me a list of question and answers and it will even explain the concepts. And if you ask it for explanation, can you give explanation for that about? See so over here, if you observe, I've said that I'm preparing for Christ University entrance exam and I have logical reasoning. Give me questions and answers. This is a list of questions and answers. Very simple. Now I'm asking you second command. Can you give me? Um, yeah. Can you give me explanation for the above questions? Explanation for the above answers. Above answers. So if you do not know the answers, still you can ask this platform. It will provide you all the answers. See, this is an example of syllogism. Where is the deductive reasoning process? The first statement establishes that all cats are a type of mammal. And the second statement establishes that all mammals are a type of animal. Therefore, we can logically conclude that cats are also a type of animals. Very simple as that. So you understood the concept. No, nothing much tough and all. It's very simple concept. Hmm? So I have covered up your logical reasoning part. See, three things I've given you. I've given you free YouTube channel links. You can refer to that. Or you can go to chat GPT. You can refer my books because those are very important from previous Yes, I have taken up over here in the form of questionnaire. 
and everything you'll find in the description box. Please do learn properly logical reasoning because it's one of the most easiest means. Before you had something called as legal reasoning that is remote. Now you have just logical reasoning, but please do prepare for it. Okay. Now data analysis and interpretation, you will get questions pertaining towards the field of uh, pie chart, bar graph, radar graphs, tables, line charts, and mixed graph. They can ask you pertaining towards it. They can give a graph and then they can ask you data analysis based question. I provided you few, two YouTube channels. You can still do refer to that. I hope that will surely help you for your preparation because I like their videos how they did it. I hope you can still refer to it or else refer to Arun Sharma's book. It's a beautiful book. I am showing you that book too over here too. It's uh, Arun Sharma Data Analysis and Interpretation. A pretty famous book. I'll drop out this link. Please do buy it and it's fine. One time investment is literally worth it. Why? Because uh, even for your future competitive exams, you know, these books are literally going to help you. And that's the reason I'm dropping out that link also in the description box. Please do prepare. So this is how you need to prepare for your entire Christ University exam. First one is regarding your English, general knowledge, current affairs, reasoning and data analysis and interpretation. I've given up all the details on how your preparation should basically happen. So I'll be dropping out the link of my uh, book also, you know, please do buy the book and start learning. And all the interview aspect is from A to Z is covered in that particular book. So please do read, give more focus to that book because future, if you're going for any kind of exchange program to different law universities, Ivy League colleges also, you'll be still having this interview process. Still this book can be helping you. So it's one time investment for your lifelong. I don't think so at no point of time, you will surely regret. So that's all. For today's video please do have revert back to me if you have any doubts i'll be uploading more videos pertaining to it and whenever you have doubts you can surely come back to me i'll be happy enough to help you that's all wish you all the best good luck take care of jai health jai bharat and yeah that's it okay and data analysis and interpretation and logical reasoning are the important part do not miss it and if you do like this video please do like share and subscribe okay bye bye okay oh uh, before i end i have one more thing to tell you i have also attached uh, in the same book itself, you know, all the data analysis and interpretation. I just got that notification that stating, okay, I didn't say about it. So yes, quantitative aptitude and data analysis and interpretation. If you want one more attached document, I'll be doing on that. So yes, uh, please do reach out if you have any doubts. Take care. Goodbye. I wish you all the best and ask ChatGPT as much as questions as possible. It will also surely help you.